Hi guys, so this week we are going to be making some crazy line monsters. And I love this project, I'm really excited about it. It combines my two favorite things, which is abstract art. That means art that's not representing anything in particular, it's just shapes, colors, and lines. And then also I love collage. So when we glue paper or something on top of our artwork, that's called a collage. We're gonna be doing both of those today. So you will need, to start this project, a piece of paper. It doesn't matter which direction your paper is going, and your paper doesn't necessarily have to be white. Although we do want to go in with color, um, so starting with a white piece of paper always helps our colors show up a little bit better. All right, when you start drawing your different types of lines, you're obviously going to start with a pencil. We know that that is our art practice, so that if you make an oops, you can erase it or fix it. I'm going to go in straight with a marker today, just so you guys can see all my different lines. But I would, if I was going to do this project for real, I would use a pencil first and then I would trace over it with a marker of some kind so you can see the lines. So that's going to be important. I'm going to start, I think, with a diagonal, that means corner to corner, a diagonal zigzag line. So. I'm gonna go in and make some big zigzags going all the way across my paper. And for this project, you want all your different types of lines to intersect. That means they cross over each other. So my second line is gonna be like a wavy line. And I'm gonna cross over my zigzag line that I already did. And this one's going diagonal too. So now I have two diagonal lines. I want to go back across this way, and I think for this one, I'm going to do a dashed line. So I'm going straight across. This line is horizontal. And then I think I will do one more line up here, kind of separating this big section, and I'm going to do a curly Q line up here. And this line's going to be sort of diagonal, but it's just not going corner to corner. There we go. And then maybe I'll do one more diagonal straight line. You want a lot of good sections on your paper because we're gonna be coloring each section in a different color. And the more sections you have, the cooler your artwork looks. So I think I have enough lines that I'm happy with now. Now I'm going to be using oil pastels to color in my sections. You could use markers, crayons, colored pencils. You could use paint even. So it's really up to you what you wanna to use to color in. But I'm making sure as I'm coloring, I'm staying in the sections that I made for myself with my lines. So I'm going to go all through my paper after I've outlined everything with black. I'm gonna go all through and you can see hopefully, that I'm using my very best craftsmanship to color. That means I'm not scribble, scrabble coloring like this. That's not my best job. I'm really taking my time to fill in all of this section with my orange color that I'm using so I'm not leaving any white gaps while I'm coloring. And that's part of just giving our best effort every time so we're not rushing through our coloring. All right, so now that this section's all orange, I would go through and I would color each one of these different sections on my paper. Then I'm going to grab some additional paper, so a separate piece of paper. And I happen to have um, a black piece of construction paper and then another white piece of construction paper. But of course, you can use any type of paper that you want. You could even use like an old newspaper or something. That is the beauty of collage, is that you can basically use any type of paper that you want to. What I'm going to do with that paper is I've cut out for myself some different shapes that I think I could use to make a face. So I've got a half circle for the mouth. You'll see in some of our examples that some of the monsters have rectangle mouths. So you can make your face out of whatever shapes you want and you guys know how to use your scissors safely by now. You know how to draw and cut out shapes. We've been practicing these things all year. So now I'm just gonna start arranging my pieces and then I would glue them down to make my full monster. So my monster is really happy, he's smiling. And I think I'm gonna do the eyes a little bit wonky like that. And then I cut out some little white circles for the middle of the eyes. 
I cut out two long rectangles for some eyebrows, and I could make him really happy looking. I could make him look kind of worried, like he might have a question. I could make him look angry, like an angry monster. That's kind of funny to me. I think I'll leave him like that. And then I've also cut out some little tiny squares for some teeth in my mouth. And I think that looks really funny too. You could also cut out if you wanted your monster to have like really sharp teeth. You could do some uh, teeth that are triangle shape instead of square. It's kind of up to you. And then once I glue all of my pieces down to make my face, I have my full monster. There he is. He's so cute. So we hope you guys have so much fun making your shape and lion monsters this week. If you give this project a try, please don't forget to share with us. We love seeing what you guys make. Bye.